Hello everyone and welcome back to another match here on WWE 2K19. We have got for you here the Fiend, Mr. Bray Wyatt, taking on uh, SWE Original, Mr. Nate Danger. Nate Danger currently with five losses from five matches. The Fiend, where are you up to? Uh, the Fiend, you are currently on minus two. So um, yeah, the Fiend needs this win. Um... I don't think Nate Danger should be too much trouble for the Fiend, but you never know. Fiend going straight off, and the Fiend is the only other character... I mean, obviously AEW's been absolutely stacked recently. They've added a lot of massive, massive names to their roster, but the Fiend is the one person that I would still like to add. I think at this point they should probably calm down a little bit, um, because they have so many people on the roster, it's going to be difficult to keep everyone um, happy. And uh, in big shows. Um, but yeah, The Fiend is definitely someone I would like to see join. Maybe, I know, again, people have said that this shouldn't need to happen, that sort of stuff. But maybe Bray Wyatt could be the person to come back and bring order to the Dark Order. Um, obviously, there was a, a very strong relationship between Bray Wyatt and, um, and uh, Brody Lee. A very strong relationship, so I'm sure if that was to be the case and Bray was to come across and try and bring order back, because at the moment the Dark Order are feuding between themselves, aren't they, at the moment? Um, so yeah, if, Br if Bray White was to come back and to, to lead the Dark Order back into glory days and success, that I think would be a nice little storyline. Referee getting up to about a six or seven count there, I think. But both guys now back into the ring. The Fiend dropping a knee right into the spine of Nate Danger. And now heading up on to that top rope. And a big splash from the top. Wow. Not rough when you see the Fiend go for high risk. But there was high reward there. In for the pin on Nate Danger. Not enough. There's that boot in the spine. And a big Uranagi-style side slam by The Fiend, who is in firm control. And a massive headbutt as well. That was brutal. Wrenching away now, twisting at the neck of Nate Danger. I love The Fiend as a character. I don't know why the WWE didn't use him more. I, know, I don't know. It's just... He just seems such an obvious, great character to me. Does Nate Danger just... How has Nate Danger just reversed? Oh my god. He ran straight into The Fiend, got absolutely flattened. I think The Fiend was looking for the sister Abigail. Nate Danger was able to reverse it. Fiend now dropping Nate with the X-Plex. And now just pinching away at the shoulder. And The Fiend is in full control, as you would expect. I don't think you'd expect anything else at this point in time, would you? Nice, big, stiff DDT by Nate Danger, who's now stalking Nate. Come on, Nate. Nate Danger. Oh, my God. The Danger Slam. He hit him with a Danger Zone. But the Fiend was able to break free. Nice over the top. Nate now sending him into the corner. Nate's doing well as well. We saw some uh, good action from Joey Pepperoni the other day. And now we're seeing some fantastic action here from Nate Danger, but turns straight around. The Fiend with a pin, only enough for the two count, though. There's the big elbows, now dropping Nate. And in with, again, that big Uranagi slam. There's the pin, that could be enough. One, two, and three, and the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, is victorious here. Nate Danger drops down for another... Loss moving him down to minus six. 
which does move a couple of people up, actually, which they'll be happy about. And the Fiend is going to move himself up to a minus one in the rankings, which is a... It's quite a big increase. It's still nowhere near where he's going to want to be. He's going to want to be a hell of a lot higher than that. With Nate Danger dropping down, then it does mean that the likes of Christian and Al Snow move up a position as well. Christian's so much lower than we think. Christian's had 21 matches and sits on minus five. It's not been great for him so far. Not great at all. But finally, after we saw some good offense from Nate Danger, the fiend Bray Wyatt was able to fully control him. Well, there we go. That's the end of this match. I hope you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have, hit the like, the subscribe, all the other good stuff, and I'll see you again a little bit later on for another match here on WWE 2K19. Bye-bye.